anything in life that you enjoy doing is going to have its ups and downs. I, mean, I would almost think if it wouldn't have challenged at some point, people would lose interest in it. I'm Mitch Cargyle. I'm a telecommunications mechanic for the 14th Comm Squadron at Columbus Air Force Base. So I got into knife making back in 2013. I guess the most enjoyable aspect of it is creating something that can be used for a lifetime. You know, I believe that my knives will be here long after I'm gone because the, the attention and quality of knife, as long as they're properly cared for, I mean, they could be something that could be passed down from generation to generation. They think it's the coolest thing, so they, they hype me up pretty pretty big. So uh, they think it's pretty cool that one of their co-workers, uh, you know, has been on TV, you know, not just local, but national TV, so. It was an amazing experience, met some really good guys that uh, were on set with me. So the judges were great. Uh, so it was, it was, I look at it as a once in a lifetime opportunity. As far as making a knife, uh, the time varies. It's got a lot of quick and dirty forging and it's got a lot of rough grinding that stuff goes pretty quick. But once you get down to the, to the finished sanding and the hand sanding and the shaping of the handle, it slows down. I could take this to the grinder and actually make that look good in about 10 minutes. Right now it looks pretty rough, but I can make it look good in about 10 minutes. And removing the, the scale and getting it down to fresh metal and stuff like that, all that'll go pretty quick. But it all, like I said, it all really slows down once you get to this back part, this last little bit. I think it's a tedious process, but at the end of the day, being able to look and be proud of what you've done. and. You know, it's got my name on it, and my name ain't a lot to a lot of people, but it's a lot to me. So if it gets my name on it, well then I'm proud of what I've, of what I've done.